There we go. Uh, we are looking for a cave. of the Ricky Myron Traveling Stunt Show. Oh, I that is. I'm not putting my lips on that. Well, why not? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> doink, doink, doink. <laughs> I'm done with these boys. Alright, we've got a ramp now. Time to do some evil Knievel. Snake River Canyon. Factory, holy ground. Huh. Looks like something big's going on in there. Souvenirs here. We got your hats. We got your pennants. We got it all right here. Official Corley Motors merchandise. One hundred percent cotton. Oh, um, that's too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. <laughs> we got your t-shirts here. All sizes and colors. Fill our handy beverage hats with your drink of choice. Uh, you, big fella, come give our derby car a spin. Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium adventure. Smashatorium adventure. Oh, this don't look friendly. 
friendly. There's the Vulture's hideout on the other side of this field. I've heard a lot about the Vultures. Uh -oh. And I guess it's all true. Looks like a minefield. There we go. Alright. Go look for landmines, little buddy. He's a he's a specially trained buddy. Hey, you found one. Uh-huh. Okay. Here you go. Bunny at the souvenir shop. Buy your kids a bunny so they'll shut up on the long drive home. <laughs> I'll shut them up. That should put some life into it. <laughs> don't be a cheap jerk. Buy something. <clears throat> if we don't got it, then it stinks. <laughs> Pat the bunny. You know you want to. Pat the bunny. Pat the bunny. Hey, don't go in there. Uh-oh. Now look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. <laughs> now it's just me and the bunnies. Me and the bunnies. That sounds like a song. This should uh, help us find some more landmines, don't you think? Field's been replanted. Oh. Tiny little vultures. I'm not afraid to use them. <laughs> he blowed up. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen like that. Doggone it. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Okay. Doggone it. I'm run out of bunnies at this rate. Well, bite my. I don't want to sell off any of these boys. Oh, got it. Last bunny. Hey! <laughs> I made it. That's the guy who was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. All right, vultures! Rack them up! Uh -oh. Let's rip them quick. 
Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <clears throat> no, don't do it. Your father. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Oh, no. Corley and I. I said shut up about my dad. Malcolm wants... I said shut up about my dad. Well, she just doesn't want to talk, does she? I'm losing my temper, Maureen. Yeah, you're about to lose much more. Okay, that's enough. Mm, not quite. <laughs> I'm innocent. You're in something, all right. Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Diaper Dynamo. How? How'd you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. Don't go nowhere. Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders' meeting. That way... We take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Ripburger canceled the shareholders' meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders' meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death, Act 1, Scene 1. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No, they'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. What? When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Thunder, Let's meet thunder, our crash thunder. Cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> Now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another masked newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of pile-up, Doreen Schmorley. <laughs> All right, boys. Sick em. And finally, we have a last-minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly-looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. <clears throat> Try and get away now, bicycle. All right, now, are you ready to see some reckless driving? I 
new readiness is of unnecessarily violent destruction. Then let the demolition derby begin. What am I doing? Where are you, Ben? Hang on, Mo. Here I come. Watch out for the Boom Boom Brothers, Mo. Man, what are you doing? Get I over here and you. nail me! Bounced off the roof. Looks like these babies have a glass jaw. Ben, I can't avoid these other cars for I'll go into the cutscene. I'm trying to find the first. Not stalled anymore. 